Hello everyone and welcome back gaming with Priesty Newcastle Jets in the Premier League and I think this episode 9 for the season and we open up today's episode we have a few offers for McKinley and one also for Mitchell which we turned down Mitchell an offer for Inter there so he must have a little bit of development I mean he's not playing so he's not developing um so we're gonna have to either try and look to get him out on loan or give him more game time and the first game of today's episode is at ellen road against marcelo bielsa's men lead united uh, coming off a two or draw we got a little bit lucky against chelsea in the last episode um thick the fixtures are coming thick and fast. So we've had to rotate the squad for this game here. And you see there, early in the game, leads some beautiful play there. Um, broke us down and Robert Tone puts the leads into the early 1-0 lead. Um, then we turn the ball over cheaply in our own defensive third. We win it there, but they're just all over us. Rafinha there, what a lovely finish. Just Dinks it over. Hugo Lloris in goal. And the Leeds fans are up and about. Rafinha makes sure he goes over and celebrates right in front of him. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. I was never really in this game. Just one where the AI just absolutely dominated. And 3-0 the score here and things that are only get worse um we never even fired a shot to be honest four nil here this guy here dolberg just pulled the strings absolutely tore us apart i don't think he scores but he, he sets up a lot of assists and robert tone there and aren't they happy about a four nil they know this game is done and dusted i mean i went in at half time and i said to the boys come on We've got to try and get back in this game, but just 10 minutes after half time, they would pull us apart again. That's Robert Tone with his hat trick there. It's now 5 0, and I think that's probably the equals the worst defeat we've ever had, um, which was against Bradford. But Leeds wouldn't stop there. You see Dolberg there trying to get in on the out, and you can't quite get the goal that his performance would deserve there. But you see, he just. Holding the ball up so well. And they skip past Gilliam there. And then a nice finish past Lloris. And that would make the score 6-0. And, and that's got to be the darkest day in um, this save so far. And we lost to Bradford 5-0 when we were pushing for promotion in League 2. Lee, uh, losing 6-0 to Leeds United at Ellen Road. That's got to be the darkest day in our football club's history. Um, yeah, really disappointing. I don't, I don't know really what to say about it. Um, no, you see here Manchester City on top of the table. Evidence still right up there. Norwich in 13th. Newcastle United in 15th. We're still in 17th place. place and now only three points in front of Brighton in the drop zone. Move on to the next game of the episode, round four, FA Cup against Stoke City. Wasn't taking any risks here at all. We picked out, picked our full strength lineup. Just, we need to get back to winning ways here. You know, uh, um, a good win in the cup might help us in the league. As um, you know, we're really, I'm really starting to worry there that we could get relegated and that would just be an absolute disaster which anything it takes not to get relegated you know fa cup it's literally our only chance of winning silverware this season so we will risk it to try and um progress through to the next round you see here early we have a, a couple of chances barrios would have two cracks at it there would push the ball just wide of the post and we move into the second half here and i was oh my god stoke city there would take the lead 
and I hadn't really done anything up until this point of the game, 53 minutes, but it happens a lot with the AI, you know, they, they don't get very many chances, but when they do, they take them, and, you know, this is a pivotal point in our season, so we've got to try and push on and get ourselves back in this game. You see here, we would find our way back into it, the 76 minute through Lacazette, and then see there, so many times that ball will just break to them when we win that ball back. But this time, it breaks to us. We play Lacazette in, and he just skips past. I think that's Harry Sutar. He's just, I'm not sure what he's doing there. We play the ball across to the super sweet Olsen, and from 1-0 down, we've come back to rescue our season in a way and make the score 2-1 late in the game. Olsen would have another chance Put a little bit of cream on top of the result, but he would miss that. It wouldn't matter. We would get up 2-1 over Stoke City, and I got to say, that was such a relief. When we went down 1-0 there, I was thinking, oh, we're going to be knocked out of the FA Cup here. Um, I guess in a way, it wouldn't be the end of the world, because then we could just focus on our league season and try and get out of that relegation dogfight you see here, Southampton come in for Douglas stuff, but they ain't going anywhere. Archie Lawrence, we get a bid for Vitesse from um, Archie Lawrence, and I, I think I give that some thought, but the offer wasn't right. Speaking of all, Richardson now, he's our third string right wing back. We get an offer for him for just two and a half, just over two and a half mil. I say, right, no, we'll take this. 2.8 mil, um, and they do the deal straight away. Maybe I should have asked for a little bit more. We're happy for him to go to the Portland Timbers and get some game time. Um, some offers there for Laird and also from Crystal Palace once again for Duff. So we know he's wanted, but uh, we're not going to give him away. And see Gabriel there, former Arsenal um, defender. He's made the move. To Spurs, kind of reverse Sol Campbell. Um, you see Larice showing his old club that he's still got it in goal for us. And then Laird, oh, he put the ball across. And Meslier makes a good save, but Lacazette, he comes in and he gives us the 1 0 lead. 27 minutes into the game, and you know we really need to win this, get back on track. But you see here, Spurs are just. What the one two there? Greenwood's in the middle of the field, no one around him. He just charges into the box, scores equaliser in the 34th minute. And here we move into the second half, pay the ball across to Greenwood. Greenwood, look, we're just jockeying there nicely. We do dive in, and then, oh, I gotta tell you what, this is how much I'm feeling the pressure here. I just don't know how to defend when that ball's in and around the box. So I, I dove in. I think I got the ball, but I also went through the back of him there. So it's hard to argue with that penalty. And Harry Kane, just with a cheeky Penenka, um to his left-hand side. And yeah, and then we would stroll into the box. So we're down 2-1, and I think that was Rams. He gets himself into the box, and he just absolutely... Ruins the shot at goal, and then I thought this would be the ruining of our season here. Duff, the ball comes in off his foot into his arm. Not much he can do about it. Larissa, so he would have practiced saving plenty of penalties from Harry Kane over the years, and he does make the save. And from that, we're trying to look to get up the field. Um, down the left there, gets closed off, so we come back into the middle. Long ball in to take its feet. McKinley there. Game opens up for him, and he scores two all. Absolutely pivotal part of our season right there. Hugo Lloris making the penalty stop from Harry Kane, and then we go down the other end and score, and then right towards the end of the game, some beautiful build-up play there. Meslier makes a save. Ramsey. Oh, he has a chance to put us into the lead, but we'd keep on pressing. Taggart would win the ball back there for us. 
and then they'd win it back. They put Meslier under pressure. We win the header. Lacazette plays in Taggart, and Taggart, yes, 3-2 in added time. Oh, my God, what a goal. We've come back from 2-1 down, and we've saved a penalty. That would have made the score 3-1, and we've hit the lead. Oh, what a result that is. Honestly, the pressure on us coming from Brighton below us in the relegation side. The heat is absolutely on. But we've stood up to the challenge. So after getting absolutely flogged by Leeds United, we've come back, we've had a, we've scrapped out a tough result against Stoke in the cup, and then we've come home and we've beaten Spurs. 3-2 in the league. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you guys next time.